once again with NASCAR Thunder 2004. And in this episode of our rookie season in career mode, we are going to be completing race 25 of 36, which is going to be at Darlington Raceway for the Mountain Dew Southern 500. The Lady in Black. Last time we came here, we started in 20th, and we maintained that position for like the entire first half of the race by blocking Elliott Sadler in specific. So if we can start better this time and possibly even have an easier time maintaining position, then we're in for a really good Darlington race because we have better equipment, obviously, now. In the last episode, we went to Bristol Motor Speedway and finished in sixth place, which could not have been possible without the help of Tony Stewart, who decided to dump Kyle Petty during pit stops, which actually happened right in front of me. I got a really good view of it. So that caused Ricky Craven, of all drivers, to win his one and only win this season. I don't even know where that guy is in the point standings. He's probably somewhere in the top ten. No. Somewhere right here. Ricky Craven uh, is in 19th place. Jamie McMurray. My main competition for Rookie of the Year battle is in 18th. So, yeah, I guess I'm never going to get Rookie of the Year. That's the pressing. I don't know how I could have stopped that. He must have had some really good luck. But now, Tony Stewart is 135 points in front of Dale Earnhardt Jr. Because Junior Nation got a last place finish at Bristol. I don't think anybody in my subscriptions is actually wanting Tony Stewart to win this championship anymore. I mean, I still do because I'm, I'm stupid full of shit. But, yeah, that, that was... That was a little rough in terms of respect. We're in 28th place. Looks like we're within 100 points of 25th place. The best we'll probably get this season. That's from Jerry Nadu, Kenny Wallace, to Joe Nemechek. Uh, we might be able to make up a position or two in this race, depending on how well we do. These guys are bound to just finish in like the 30s, especially Kenny Wallace. But, uh, no scrolling through that anymore. Drive respect. No rivals after Bristol. That is very surprising. And then you got the awards. I actually got rookie of the race twice in a row. Of course, we got it at Bristol whenever we finished in sixth, and we got it at Michigan. I remember passing um, Jay McMurray as he came off pit road. So, how can we get all these rookie of the race, but I can't get rookie of the year? That's so dumb. We are using Metallica King's paint scheme in this race just because we haven't been using it that much recently. We've been using Dale Reynolds' paint scheme a lot, and you know that, so we aren't going to be seeing that much of his paint scheme anymore for the rest of the season. Maybe like a race or two, I think. Shop editions. We'll have six races left for the fabrication shop once we're done with the drawings and race. Then we can go into the garage. And there's something that I want to do at the beginning of this video that I decided not to do at the last one. But I realized that it's probably a good idea just for the sake of, you know, actual growth in my career. But first off, this is what we're going to be using whenever we do the race in a little bit. And then after we're done, we'll start repairing or overhauling it depending on how I feel. And this one right here is going to be fresh. we got six races left on our new chassis, which is all fine and good. This is what I was talking about. I'm going to go ahead and build a new engine for $120,000, which is going to be 64 power and 60 efficiency, which is a pretty damn big bit more than what we're about to be using a little bit, which is actually fresh, 57 power and 54 efficiency. So I might be getting rid of this really soon once this is actually gone. And that's actually nine races, and we're getting close to having only nine races left in the season. And we go to bodies, and you can see we're going to be using this, and then we'll start repairing it, or actually overhauling it. It's a body. I have to overhaul my bodies. It's just uh, bodies aren't that good. And then the other one will be ready for us to use in the next couple of races. And you can see 93 happiness with Vance Auto Parts, Quality Plus 4 dealers, 88 happiness, and 82 happiness for Richard Petty driving experience. Yeah, not having any problems with my sponsorship until a couple races from now, whenever they all come to an end and I have to get new sponsors. It's probably going to be blasting us through the most of our second season, which is where that uh, paint scheme contest is probably going to come back in around race 27. So let's go to race weekend, click quick select, 58 car rating, which is probably like 4 or 5% better than what we did last time we came to Darlington. So let's go out there, try to finish in the top half of the field. Probably even much better than that, like 15th. Can Jamie McMurray just like get 5 DNFs before the end of the season? That'd be nice. Saw Tony Stewart starting in 10th, and I bet Dale Earnhardt Jr. is starting in front of him. So I thought that Tony Stewart was the one making the comeback in the middle of the season, but I think now it's up to Dale Earnhardt Jr. to see if he can make a comeback to win this championship. This car is a little tail happy, but I know we're on the same setup that we were last time. Just need to get used to it. Lap doesn't have to really be that good for us to start well in this race. Probably still start 20th place, if not better. This is the owl lap. It's not going to be that good. Yeah, 40th. Okay, let's focus. Turn one. It's a slow car, so, I mean, even though I have this engine right here, it's still a pretty damn slow car, so you can almost go full throttle into turn one. Don't too loose off. Much better one to that time. Okay, here it comes turn three. Brakes. Don't overdrive the corner. Ugh, a little slippery. But I can still say this car is almost just as good as it was last time. 
I remember I had a few saves last time we came to Darlington, didn't we? Okay, how's that? A lot of ground to make up. I actually qualified worse. That is not a good sign, but I can make up positions. I know we can. Dale Jr. is actually on the pole. I mean, I didn't see him, but I saw that Tony Stewart was in 10th a while ago. So, Tony Stewart, get your ass moving. Don't let Dale Jr. make this comeback. You're the true comeback this season. I mean, even though it was much of a comeback dumping Kyle Petty. Dale Earnhardt Jr. will be starting next to Rocket Man himself, Ryan Newman, even though Rocket Man is not being Rocket Man by starting second. Green flag is out and run away for 36 long laps here at Darlington. I didn't keep that in mind. This is the longer Darlington race, so it might not be that easy to finish as well as we did last time we came here. We didn't even finish well last time we came here. We got a freaking pit stop mistake, I think. So as long as that doesn't happen, we can definitely finish better. But uh, yeah, it's going to be a longer darn race. I think the tire wear is still going to balance out just the same because, you know, how this game works and all. But these guys have a bad habit of slamming the brakes going down the front straight away. So I need to pull out from behind them. Yeah, a few of them slow up, so we're going to get a couple positions as we go into turn one right here. Well, uh, oh, Johnny Banson's going to clear me. I call him Johnny Banson. Johnny Banson. That's the name, guys. Uh, Mike Skinner started a little, a little better than he usually does. We're going to pull up in front of him. Uh, kind of. Okay, 20 seconds. I don't know about making up that many positions. Maybe Kenny Wallace started up front. He'll be falling back past him. I think I see him on the high side up there right in front of Jeff Burton. That's got to be him. He's losing positions. Definitely Kenny Walsh. Uh, the leaderboard's only showing me Jeff Burton, so I can't confirm it, but yeah, it's a red and yellow card. It's definitely Kenny Wallace. So that's one position I can confirm. I know we started right in front of Hermie Sadler, so I guess that's Jerry Nadu in the black Pontiac up ahead. And these guys I can confirm can pass. And I need to pass Johnny Benson because he's in front of me in the points. Uh, just a little bit. I think he's in 27th, so it's a good thing to be doing. Yep, there's Kenny Wallace. Sure enough, he's in front of me, I think, 26th, so. Get your stacker to ass over here. That's my position for the rest of the season. Uh, try not to overdrive these corners, try not to slide in too hard, because I know the car slides mistake. It'll just cause a massive freaking wreck. It is really loose off. That's something I get a lot racing this track through the years. You get used to it. Try to be patient, not trying to just dive bomb Kenny Wallace into a corner. Take our time, not waste the tires. Golly, sparks flying up ahead. but. No one's really checking up right now. Okay, let's get back over there. Slippery car. Jamie McMurray wants to pass me. I know it. He's been making moves, and I think he might get around me soon. Or I could block him like Elliot Siler. That would be a smart idea if I could do that. We're in 21st. It's top half of the field. I really think we can finish in the top half of the field in this race. Golly, Jay McMurray's fast. I hate that. The fact that after all this work that I've done on this car, we're still, we're still not better than Jamie McMurray. Not really. Obviously, he's in 18th place in the point standings, and that's the place I really don't feel like I'll be able to get to unless he starts DNFing over and over again. I'm trying to keep up with these guys, and I think I can catch Kenny Wallace, make some more passes, maybe Robbie Gordon, but yeah, I'm just a little nervous about how this car will handle it. Oh, that was not a very good entry to turn three. I'm trying. I'm not trying too hard, but golly, this car don't like it whenever I even try in the slightest. He's right in front of me. I so badly just want to do it. Make that pass. Just make good corner entries. We can do this. Okay, he's letting up. Underneath them. Don't get too tight off the corner. I say tight, but it's like tight moves at the same time. Where the car is sliding, but it can't turn anymore. It's that rear end. So I really don't want to make a wedge adjustment because then the car would be extremely tight. And it wouldn't be loose off the corners anymore, but this is nothing that I can't handle. Now, once the tires get worn, I'm pretty sure it's going to be extremely fucking loose off the corners. At least I haven't had that many reasons to make cuts. The thing is, this is one of the longer races in the season, and not making cuts probably just steers people clear of, you know, actually watching this video. It's like, oh, that's a long video. I don't want to watch that. <laughs> Darn it. But it's the Southern 500, so maybe some people will be interested. I don't know. Oh, my goodness. I try to make my videos as short as possible, while at the same time not too brief. Like, I didn't even get to see this, this, or this. But there's just a lot of stuff to see right now, because I'm keeping up with these guys. Well... Doesn't look like it anymore. Robbie Gordon and everybody else just pulled away off that corner. Uh, turn one can be a strength for me. Try not to get too tight in. Oh my goodness, making dust fly off the wall by going that tight into the corner. Really good runoff. I can pass Robbie Gordon soon. Passing somebody in turn three is not something that I uh, recommend. <laughs> and yet I'm still trying to do it. Wow, JC. Hypocrite. Try passing someone into turn three at Darlington. That sounds so dumb. <laughs> 
Okay, well there's Elliot Sauer. He's been falling back, so maybe I can start blocking him again like I did last time. Elliot Sauer's gonna get PTSD triggered if I even do that, and I'm pretty sure it's about to happen. It's because he's one of the slower drivers just falling back. We never caught Jerry Nadu to my surprise. Uh, I guess he's just having one of them good races here at Darlington. Get on the brakes early, don't run anybody over. I know I'm probably bound to miss a, ra uh, a racing point, a braking point if I can't see it with cars in front of me. These guys are side by side in front of me. Let's try keeping Robbie Gordon from actually clearing LA Sauer, because if that happens, then I've got to pass two cars. Well, I mean, I want to pass two cars, but passing two cars at once ain't easy. I mean, when they're side by side, they obviously have to go slower, so that's what I'm kind of trying to do. Ugh, it's just, this allows me to close in. Oh, I barely rear-ended Robbie Gordon. I was trying to break early. I almost ran him over. And we got around Elliot Sadler. I'm trying to pass Elliot. A little contact with his left quarter panel. He's not too pissed about it. This car is losing speed in the straightaways as I'm wobbling back and forth. This is a position I should be able to finally overtake. Kurt Busch is behind me. Hell, where'd he come from? Must have been a bad qualifying session. I don't know. Not very good luck. Okay, into 19th. So this is already a better race than it was last time we came here. And this is the longer one, so that's kind of saying a little bit, even if it is better equipment. Now Elliot Sauer's trying to get back around me. Sliding up off turn four a little bit, but it's all good. Now Jerry Nadu starts actually losing position, so maybe he used up his tires and we can get back around him. Back around him. They usually finish in front of him, I guess, but I don't know. I'm just really helping Robbie Gordon make passes right now. I'd love to pass him, but it's like... Uh, he's always on the move because I'm giving that little draft. I mean, as long as I'm passing cars, I can't be that pissed about not passing Robbie Gordon of all people. Oh, no grip in a turn three that time. I'm not letting Kurt Busch pass me right here. I'm trying to get that run off. Stay in Robbie Gordon's slipstream so I can get past Jerry Nadu finally. And that will be for 18th place. And also, Jamie McMurray never passed me, so that's something I'm happy to say. Because he's actually not one of the pack of cars behind me. So I guess we're actually faster than them. I'm in traffic, and uh, he's in his own traffic. He's probably holding up all those guys behind him at this point, because I don't see him. Why well, do I keep driving off the track in a turn three? That's so unprofessional. JC, stop commentating. He makes you suck. You're driving off the track like it's nothing. Oh, can I please pass Robbie Gordon? It's starting to get on my nerves, like how I have just not simply passed this one driver. That's not how you pass a driver, JC. As long as I'm right behind him, it'll happen eventually. just don't want to rush into things, no matter how long it's been taken. Oh! Almost making contact, but I finally got underneath them. So, ugh, turn three is not going to be easy. I'm slamming the brakes so damn much to get off of him, but, yeah, he's really pissed now. I wasn't rushing into that. I had to get on the brakes early, and I did, but it still wasn't enough for my bad race car. Well, Kurt Busch got around me, and now this guy probably wants to run me over because that's part of the rivalry thing. Oh, my God. What kind of... Damn. No grip all of a sudden. Just nothing. Jerry Nadu, hit the brakes. Check off. Someone's wrecking in front of you. Oh my god. This car just freaking gave up on the entire race all of a sudden. Man, that, that was kind of a shock for me. I was expecting it to, you know, gradually wear down the tires. Not so immediately as it just can't grip going into a corner. It can't grip underneath somebody. It can't do anything all of a sudden. Okay, it's the halfway point. Uh, don't spin the car. And we'll slow down to 70. Good pirouette entry. I'm waiting for the stupid thing to the menu to come on the screen so I don't hit the wall. Okay, four tires. I uh, have damage and repair, but it's not that much of an aero track, so maybe it's a good idea to not fix that. Uh, plus, I'm about to be repairing the stuff anyways. I don't know how much that would affect the engine if I don't repair it, but at the same time, I think it would be the same much if I do or don't. All them freaking tire marks on the side of the car from rubbing up against Robbie Gordon. I was so patient for so long, just waiting and waiting, helping him pass people. And I finally got underneath him when I'm going to turn through with worn tires. We just rode up against him. I tried breaking early, it just it wasn't enough. Ugh, mistakes are mistakes. You wouldn't be a race car driver without mistakes. You'd be AI. I'm glad I'm not AI. Okay, so off pit road, we're in 25th. I'm trying to keep Jay McMurray from maintaining that position off pit road. So I just drove up into him because I don't have any respect for my uh, battle for rookie of the year. Uh, you need to finish behind me many times, many positions behind me. There's Elliot Sadler, the same damn thing as last time. Come off pit road, Elliot Sadler is right in front of me. Well, I'm going to go catch Elliot Sadler, and we'll pass him for 23rd, maybe more positions, because we're actually passing people who are taking pit stops right now. Jay McMurray, go away. Someone's overheated, I see him on the apron. Who is that? That is Jeremy Mayfield, 4th position. We are now in 20th. 
catching Elliot Sal a little bit. Let me focus just a little longer. And it seems the pass that I've been trying to make for about 10 laps has finally happened. Into 19th place we go. I can say this is a good run because we're higher than 20th place. We can't just say we're in the top 20. We're actually in it. We're not on the top 20. I don't know. And got about five laps. Maybe I can catch whoever that is up in front of us. I think it's Jerry Nadu. Oh, so Jay McMurray is so freaking fast. Like, I've been pushing it focused all the way, sweat mode. I'm sweating up a storm in my jacket. The only reason I'm wearing my jacket is just why I'm not wearing the same clothes in every video. So, yeah, like, my sweat mode is more stupid than what it ever will be. But, uh, yeah, we're catching Jerry Nadu right off the bat, but damn. It's just, no matter how much focus I put into it, it seemed that Jay McMurray was catching me and just waiting for me to make a mistake the whole damn time. Yeah, because he was catching me, but he couldn't pass me because that's, like, a whole different thing, obviously. Oh, tie off the corner, but still not hitting the wall. Let's catch uh, Jerry Nadu if we can. I think I need to make a cut. I just need to focus. Okay, we got that draft. Oh, I feel the tightness already in the middle of the corner. I can feel like if I speed up a little bit more, I'll be sliding up. He's trying to block on the inside or something, so this might not be a good corner entry. Couldn't be one for me either because of how worn the tires are now. Come on, dive to the bottom. Block McMurray. Get a little slipstream down the front straight away. He's just protecting that inside line. You can see it. I'm trying to throw it up to the top so maybe he can switch lanes and try blocking me there, but it's not happening. Ooh. Underneath him. Slow up a little bit so I don't drive up him on the track, hit him and whatever. This could be for 18th. Man, these tires are worn now. Jay McMurray is waiting to make a pass. Please, no. No passes for you. We came off pit road at the exact same time. It feels like his car is just so damn better. I should be able to overcome that because I'm a better driver. Like, obviously I'm a human being and I've been playing this game for years and it's this is the game that made me such a good driver in racing games these days. This one right here. Great dive off of turn two. Oh, okay, it's the last lap. I didn't even notice. That's probably because I'm so far behind the leader, but damn, I'm trying so hard to pass him and then all of a sudden I lose my focus with the damn white flag coming out. They had three cars up there. If I was more focused and not playing around with Jay McMurray earlier and whatever, maybe not crashing into Robbie Gordon, then we could find ourselves have finishing like 15th with all those three cars we could have passed. Now, let's just run one good last lap. Don't let Jay McMurray or Jerry Nadu behind. It's like I passed every single one of these damn cars I was coming up on, but immediately Jay McMurray would pass him. He's always been right behind me, and you know it. Okay, hit the brakes early for turn three, just to make sure I can protect the bottom. Oh my goodness, he's trying the outside a little bit. Oh wait, maybe I can help Jerry Nadu pass him. Oh, come on Jerry Nadu, come on. I, I don't... I'm trying to... I'm trying to slow down in front of Jamie McMurray just so Jerry Nadu can finish in front of him. And we did it. Dale Earnhardt Jr. wins. I don't know where Tony Stewart did though. He started in 10th and finished in 9th. You know, that lack of progress in a race, if you do it over and over again, Dale Earnhardt Jr. is going to get right back to that points lead in Jiffy Tony Stewart. I knew this was coming. Third Rookie of the Race award in a row. Really sucks to say I'm not going to be Rookie of the Year, though, because, you know, Jim McMurray, he's most often finishing from me because of his better equipment and whatever. And at this point, he's just, you know, done so well in the time it's taken me to make my car that well. Darn. Uh, driver respect. Uh, Robbie Gordon, yeah, he's very pissed off after that, so he's now a rival. Only 38%, though. David Green wasn't in the race, I guess, and yeah, we did bump into Jay McMurray. That was all my fault. I'm just trying so hard to hold him back. Ugh, damn, he's got a great car, but he ain't doing with it what I probably would. So, Dale Earnhardt Jr. is now 88 points behind Tony Stewart. That's an interesting interval right there. Okay, let's go down and see if we made up any positions. Nope. 28th place, but we are just three points behind Joni Machek, and I don't even remember seeing him at Darlington, so he must have finished a good ways behind me and stayed there all race long. We made up a lot of points on Kenny Laws, I'm pretty sure. There's Jerry Nady, we just finished in front of him, so I think we can get to 25th place for the end of the season with the fact that we finished in front of all three of these drivers. We can keep doing that over and over again. Uh, next race is going to be at Richmond. Last time we went to Richmond, that didn't go very well. We're going to be using Metallica King's paint scheme again, by the way, just because it's the Chevy Rock and Roll 400. Durr. Okay, so team management, like I said at the beginning of the video, shop additions, six races left on Fabrication Shop. We go to the garage, and we can go ahead and maybe overhaul this. Uh, is it worth it? I think so, because we're only doing things with two parts right now, just because we have our engines on a different schedule. So we'll overhaul that. 
$178,000. I can't even say the word 100 right. Oh my god, that was embarrassment. Uh, yeah, we're going to be using this in the next race. Still 56 power, 53 efficiency. Uh, but what I really need at Richmond is a better, better handling car. We're going to that race with a fresh chassis. So, mm, maybe I won't wreck the damn car at the end of the race. I gotta make sure I put the darn setup back at what it was whenever I started that race last time because I remember changing it on pit road. Bad idea. Okay, and we're of course going to overall our body. Okay, getting it just a little bit better. $436,000. And with that, how much money do I have left in the bank now? I think it's less than a hundred thousand. Yeah, we got $92,000 in the bank. Starting to make myself go bankrupt again, but I really need to use as much money as possible without just running all out of my money if I can. And sponsorship is, of course, all fine. 95 happiness with advanced auto parts, 90 with Quality Plus 4 dealers, and 84 with Richard Petty driving experience. So, that's all good. I'll see you guys tomorrow whenever we go to Richmond, where I hope we don't die like we did last time. That's that, and episode over.